Hey, I'm Dr. RJ Burr, and this is gonna be a quick video of how to make your own homemade bone broth. Now, you may be thinking, well, I wanna make my own bone broth. Why not just get bouillon cubes or some chicken flavoring or whatever it may be for your soups? Well, you can do that, but there's tremendous health benefits to be had from bone broth, such as collagen that you can get naturally from the bones themselves. It's extremely nutrient dense, and uh, there's many healing properties with bone broth. And if you want to know more about that stuff, there's a phenomenal book here by uh, Dr. Kara Fitzgerald, Better Broths and Healing Tonics. But at very least, any of your recipes that require some sort of bone broth, you can use this. And the best part is it's easy. All of your vegetables or meats that you have, you just put them in a freezer safe bag and you keep them as you go along. So when you have chicken wings or uh, chicken thighs or anything else, bone in meat, obviously high quality, you save it in here as long as your vegetables and so on and so forth. When it's full, then you can use your instant pot and you can make your own bone broth. All right, so we'll get right at it. So here's my bag, very simply, I'm gonna dump it in here. Okay, it's gonna fill the instant pot. Make sure with the bones, you're using high quality stuff. So grass fed, grass finished, organic. You don't want the conventional stuff. It's not nearly as high quality. It's not really humanely raised. Okay, so now that we have it in the pot here, next what we're gonna do is just simply add some water. All right, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more. Thusly. Good. When you look at that, it just fills it up perfectly. Okay. We can take a look at what's inside here. Okay. So we have about this full here. You can always add a little bit more, but this is pretty much two of these big ball jars works. And I believe they're a gallon a piece. Okay. Now that we have that stuff in there, we're going to add a few more pieces here. So I like to uh, add some salt. So like sea salt's great. This is some fancy Coloma Aztec sea salt. Just some Himalayan sea salt will work. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. Good. And then an important part is to add some vinegar. So this is some apple cider vinegar, really uh, your red wine vinegar, rice vinegar, anything else can work as well. Apple cider is pretty good, but um, it, you know, add maybe a couple tablespoons worth. So I'm going to do a few little pours in here. It's not going to make your bone broth taste like apple cider or apple cider vinegar, which you know, it can be tough, but what the vinegar does is actually extract the nutrients and the collagen from the bones themselves to get that gelatinous or gelatinousness to the bone broth that you will ultimately absorb in your body. That's gives you that nutritional benefit. And lastly, optional, just a little bit of pepper. Now, ideally when you're saving your vegetables, Throw some garlic in there too, or some onions. It's going to give us a little more flavor as well. So once you have that there in your instant pot, if you don't have an instant pot, you can use a slow cooker. It's going to take a lot longer, probably about six hours or so. so all we're going to do, if I can figure this out, throw this thing on here, and it's super easy. All you do is set your seal up above here, and then we're going to go to the broth button. I have it set to an hour and 20 minutes, an hour minimum at high pressure, you press the button, you let it sit there, wait till it beeps, waiting, there we go. Now it is on, you literally just sit here and wait, and then after that hour and 20 minutes, you can either let it slow vent or you can do the quick release, either way is fine. Um, the, what I do recommend though is put this out in the garage because it can make your um, room, which my wife and the camera here can agree with, uh, it, can, it can make your kitchen smell a little bit funky. So maybe put it in the garage or somewhere else. All right, let's wait uh, 120 minutes and then I'll show you what the final product looks like. Hey, look at that, the broth is done. So we're gonna open up our Instant Pot here. We'll take a look inside. We lost a little bit more liquid than I expected this time, but hey, nonetheless, you should be a little bit higher, but you can see all the stuff in there. All right, now we're gonna take this stuff and we're gonna get the stuff out of there so we get just the broth. So what we're gonna need is a colander, a strainer, uh, and a bowl, so that way we can pour this into here, get rid of this crap, and then we have the broth here. But I like to live my life dangerously and skip this part and just go straight to the ball jar we're gonna contain it in the first place. So we're just gonna do this, all right? So let's come over here to the sink and we're gonna place the colander or strainer in there. And then we're straight up just gonna dump this sucker right in there. And I'm gonna aim for the ball jar. Ooh, Nelly, a little hot there. Wear some gloves. Not much liquid left in the container here. So here's all of our stuff that we're gonna discard now. And then here's our stuff 
in the colander and what we're left with is with some brothy bone broth. I would have expected a little bit more, maybe the seal on the Instant Pot's a little bit off, but hey, this is uh, pretty, pretty good uh, stuff to get out of stuff that you'd pretty much just throw away anyway. So remember, save your vegetables, save your bones, buy good quality, reuse it, and get nature's magic elixir.